everyone, it's Lisa from the blog FarmhouseOnBoone.com and today I want to show you how to make white chicken chili with homemade bone broth served alongside my einkorn cornbread made from ground popcorn. It is a super healthy, filling, and comfort food for fall. So if you follow along much, you might know that I love making nourishing foods like homemade bone broth, which I showed you how to do in a recent video, and just whole foods from scratch. Simple things, nothing too complicated with a bunch of extra weird ingredients that you don't have. And this recipe definitely falls into that. It's just made from basic dried Great Northern beans, homemade bone broth, a whole chicken, and then some veggies. So onions, garlic, peppers, sweet corn, and cilantro, and then of course some seasonings. So we're gonna start this process by getting a chicken going in the Instant Pot. To do that, I just put a whole chicken into my Instant Pot with about a cup and a half of water and then set it for 45 minutes on high pressure. Now you can also make this without an Instant Pot. You can use a slow cooker and just put it in on low for about eight hours or high for about four hours or you could put it in a large stock pot and just boil it for about two hours to cook it. I like the Instant Pot because it's faster and then it also makes it really tender and fall off the bone, which is perfect to go in the soup. So it's just the fastest way that I found to do it. I will link the Instant Pot that I have below, but I use it all the time to make whole chickens. Now remember that if your chicken is frozen, it might take a little bit longer, more like an hour to an hour and a half. If it is completely thawed out, it'll take about 30 minutes. Mine was somewhere in between, so I did it for 45 minutes. Next, we're gonna get the beans going. So I just used some plain Great Northern beans and put them in a large stock pot with a half gallon of bone broth. Now, of course, it's good to soak your beans, but if I soak my beans, it doesn't absorb up as much of the broth. And I really like to use this way to get more bone broth into my family's bodies. So I like to cook the beans completely in bone broth, plus it gives it a little bit of an extra good flavor. We're making bone broth at least once a week, so this is just a good way to use a whole lot of it. Now, I'll just let those beans simmer for about two to three hours. Sometimes I put them on a little bit higher, more like medium heat to get them at a rolling boil so that they'll go faster, but it just depends on how much time you have until dinner. If you're making this in the early afternoon like I am, you can of course just put it on low and let it simmer for about three hours. I'm gonna use about 10 of these little sweet peppers. You can use that or just three large bell peppers will also be great. I just like to dice them so that they're in nice little bite-sized bits and not super huge. I also use my garlic press to press a whole bulb of garlic. About two cups of fresh sweet corn. And then I also chop up two onions. All right, my Instant Pot has beeped, and I'm just gonna release the pressure and then get the chicken out and start taking it off the bone. I let the chicken cool a bit, and now I am just pulling it all from the bone. Now, if you've never made a whole chicken before, I don't want you to be afraid because you don't have to know how to cut it properly to eat a whole chicken. I make whole chickens at least once or twice every week, and I still don't know the proper way to cut a chicken. I just remove everything from the bones, kind of with my fingers or with these tongs, and then I use the leftover bones to make bone broth. It's also like that you get the variety, and not just all white or all dark. All right, I just like to coarsely chop this before throwing it into the soup. Right now that these beans are mostly cooked all the way through, I'm gonna add another quart of my homemade bone broth. All of the chopped chicken. My bulb of garlic, bell peppers, two whole onions, two cups of sweet corn, which I just cut off the cob. You could also use frozen and the juice from one fresh lime. Now for the salt, I like to add a little bit, then taste it. When you are making homemade broth that has no salt, chicken that has no salt, and beans that have no salt, you might be shocked at the amount of salt that goes into this. I'm gonna add a teaspoon of cumin, and then I'm just gonna start with two tablespoons of salt after this simmers a bit, I'm gonna taste it 
and see that we need more because I know that I will. But if you like your food less salty than me, it's a good idea just to taste test. Give it a stir and let it simmer for another 30 minutes. I'm also gonna add some freshly ground black pepper. I like to add some roughly chopped fresh cilantro to the soup right about five minutes before it's done cooking. I don't like it to cook the whole time because I like it to retain its nice bright flavor. Right, well this house is smelling amazing. Everyone in our home loves white chicken chili, so we are ready to have some dinner tonight. I'm gonna serve it alongside my cast iron cornbread, which I showed you how to make in my last video. Also, you can top this with some sour cream, maybe some organic tortilla chips. Either way, it tastes delicious, and you guys are gonna love it. Make sure to stop by farmhouseonboon.com for the full recipe and printable recipe card in case you want to save it for later or pin it on your Pinterest boards. Well, if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I make two new videos every week on food from scratch, natural living, and a handmade home. Thank you so much for stopping by the farmhouse.